Hi, this is Brett Morris, Creative Director at Ranger and Fox. For this tutorial series, we'll learn how to create and render a stylized play button from the Cineversity IDENT project. The series aims to inspire a new and beginner user and provide an introduction to both hair and MoGraph. We'll assume basic understanding of the interface, but no knowledge of MoGraph or hair. Step by step, we'll look at adding hair to a simple polygon object to set up the quality of hair we would like to create. Then using MoGraph as the foundation for the system, we will set up a MoGraph cloner system cloning cubes to the edges of the play button. Then we will learn how to grow hair onto the cloner and restrict the hair growth with MoGraph selections. Then we will duplicate the system and be able to alternate the system to apply a secondary hair system and color into the scene simply. We'll complete the scene by adding lights and shadow to give the render some style, as well as adding particle forces to dynamically animate the hair. We'll finish this tutorial series by choosing a new object from the Cinema 4D content browser and quickly preparing the geometry for the hair system we'll be able to show how we can move this whole system from one object to another to show how flexible this workflow can be.